Hello, friends and comrades, it's me, the free market in action, and welcome back to Capitalism, or This Merchant Life. And last time we continued our story yet again, and we upgraded our cart to this massive portable church that we are apparently becoming. And uh, yeah, now our objective is just to get filthy rich. So let's get right to it. We just got to trade a lot of stuff. We got to make intelligent purchases, intelligent sales. We've got some wool into storage. We can sell the wool for some money. There we go. We are already well on our way. Uh, and we also always got to be on the lookout for some good missions. There's always something good happening between Woodford and Randos, which I like. Ooh, ants again! I love the ants in this game, because they talk. See, that's the thing that we don't have with ants in real life. The caravan... Ca caravan? The caravan? The caravan passes a nondescript greystone shrine, squatting just off to the side of the road. The shrine itself is not particularly notable, but there is something odd alongside it, something much smaller. You squint a little and lean towards it, and yes, you can see now that it is unmistakably a much smaller shrine. You decide this warrants a brief investigation. The smaller shrine is perhaps six, six inches off the ground, roughly carved from a similar stone to its larger neighbor. On the front is scrawled the crude image of an ant, receiving some sort of offering and looking appreciative. It is impressive that this can be gleaned from sm such a small image, but it is unmistakable. I shall give the offering of coins. You don't really know what the ants would want, so if you leave them coins, then they can buy whatever they want with it. Oh, see, that's the best present. Money is the best gift. <laughs> that's what this story, this game wants us to think. Alright, explore. Woodford is a comforting embrace in settlement form, a reassuring old friend of a town. Not much ever happens here, and sometimes that's worth appreciating. The combination of timber houses, thatched roofs, and the yearly invocation of flame festival are a worrying and perhaps poorly thought through combination, but otherwise it feels about as safe as Peregrine gets. I've already checked out the floating bread, so I think I want to go to the public garden. Although I do like the floating bread. Oh, who's this silver fox? Mirroring the town itself, the public gardens are restrained but quietly unobtrusively pleasing. Wildflowers native to the forest form the majority of the displays with some beds themed by color. A number of small benches are scattered throughout, underneath arbors. Trees are sparse and you suddenly realize that there is something familiar about the layout. It hits you. The trees each represent a town or city in Peregrine and the garden is laid out to match the kingdom. Oh, that's really cool. I want a garden like that. You catch sight of a gray-haired mustachioed man pattering about, checking here and tending there, and realize that he must be the caretaker for this place. Can I ask him to marry me? Because he sounds great. The gardener seems utterly at peace, emanating a pre... preternatural... A preternatural calmness. Trainer unlocked? What does that mean? Ooh. The gardener is calmly stroking his mustache as he appraises a large flower bed, deep in thought. He greets you warmly as he senses your approach, then deftly explains his thoughts on this flowery element as it relates to the larger whole of the park. He will teach you some of his boundless knowledge. But do you accept the very principle of a garden in the first place? I mean, yes, I accept instantly. The gardener is happy to help cultivate your knowledge, to pass on some of his hard-won expertise. You accompany him as he works, and he patiently describes every type of plant, its requirements, preferences, and history. This is what I'm actually doing in real life right now. I have a little patch of garden, and I'm learning about gardening. It's really cool. There is more than just knowing about each classification of flora, though. There is an awareness of the whole, the complex ecosystem made up of all these trees, shrubs, flowers, all the insects and birds that live alongside and among them. It's Awa. Above all, there is love, a benevolent parental guidance for everything here. When I think of the phrase parental guidance, all I can think of is like, the message at the beginning of a TV show. 
All right, let's buy some wood, some planks, and let's also buy, sure, we'll buy your leaves. Your evil leaves. Wait, do you have medicine? Sure, we'll buy your medicine too. Rodney, Landon, Egbert, mm, wolves in the road to blah. Ooh, traveler to Aton. Do we want to go to Aton? Sure. You know what? It's always nice to visit Aton. Let's first go to Randos. Let's fight these wolves. We got hides and weapons. Those wolves were armed. Deadly pack on the road to Woodford. Sure, I'll take that mission too. And I will sell you a little bit of medicine. I'm going to keep some of it. Just in case they really want it up in Aton. But I will give you these leaves. Riley's over here just being all extra. Let's repair the cart. Can we do, can we automate the repairing of the cart? Hmm. Oh, we leveled up. Cool. Alright, so. Over here in Aton, they sell weapons extremely cheap. But I was correct. They like their, they like their medicine. So give me all your weapons. And, um, I will also give you these leathers. They like... They really like, um, ale in this town, so that's always a good thing to bring to Aton, but I don't have any on me right now, so that's a shame. Ooh, protection festival, but we need so much salt. Oof, no, no, sorry, I'm not gonna give you my salt. These missions are all so lame. Very little money. Right now, we're all about that cash, so I'm just gonna go to Woodford. The hole in the road was so deep it may go down to the underworld, and the front right wheels went directly into it. Sometimes the most dangerous thing about traveling on the roads are the roads themselves. Fighters hurt. Oh no. Okay, well, they, they can heal. They'll be fine. Give me one medicine. Ooh. What is this? Furniture collection to Oxtown. We've never had that. Ooh, look at this. That's a lot of money. And I am a seer, so I should be able to know exactly where that is. This is good. Tell me where it is. It's in Woodford? Can we kill these wolves on auto-resolve? Ooh, two wounds suffered. Well, at least nobody died, right? Nobody died? Why is there an empty slot? Did somebody die? Oh, somebody died. <sighs> Whoops. But I don't remember who it was, so... Must not have been that important. Right, so I would like to sell you some of this stuff. I'm not gonna buy your cheap medicine. And... Who's Wade? Security bonus in the first round of battle. And you only take one thing of deployment? You know what, Wade? We like, we like people like you. I think you can join us. You're great. Excellent. Pack on the road to Randos. Always like a good pack on the road to Randos. Cool. Sure, I'll take some of your herbs as well. We've not really made a lot of money. But I feel like this is gonna change now. They gave me 100! Model Merchant! Oh, we got some achievements here today. Oh, we got the reputation of 100! Yes! Okay, excellent. Oh, extra cheap weapons here today. Don't mind if I do. And look at that, we succeeded in so much horrors on the road to Woodford. I feel like we're just bouncing between here and Woodford, which, I mean, is great for money, but not that great for, like, the enjoyment of the game. Ooh, faster horses, though. You know what? We're gonna make- we're gonna do this mission, and then we're gonna get the faster horses, just so that we don't accidentally shoot ourselves in the butt. Oh. Oh, that was easy! Alright, well... God damn, we are just full of stuff. 
Monsters in the road to Randos. Let's go back. All right, now we're just gonna have to do something a little bit more creative because just bouncing back and forth, I mean, it is okay, but it is not what I am looking for. Oh, hold on. This is a different kind of archer than the other one. Security. Local hunter is like two security? Oh, 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 oh. You know what? Sure, we're gonna take Liliana. Although this one is... These guardsmen are so... Like, they have such a bonus. Add one to quadrant security per additional... Oh, so having three fighters is actually really good? Oh, you know what? Wade, it was lovely knowing you. And I hope you had a good trip with us. But I am gonna have to replace you with... Upton. I mean, it's not a very great name, but you take what you can. Just carrying these swords around. Let's just store them. Just store, store the swords. Sword the swords. Just having a stroke. Um. Sure. You know what? We took that mission again, didn't we? Okay, but I am gonna upgrade the horses. We have four horses now. We have four horses. Oh, fully upgraded. Oh, honey, we are reaching the end game. Oh, our wheels are also fully upgraded. We really are reaching the end game. Oh, we have such a fancy caravan now. What are the other horses' names? We've got Tristan and Isolt. And then what are the other ones? Isolt? And the other guy? There's two results in Tristan and Isolde. And then I don't remember the other guy's name. Donate to wedding. Bitch, I don't want wine. We should go get some wine. Look, you guys have wine. Why am I buying... Why am I donating you wine if you have it? Oh yeah, we said I leveled up, right? Yeah. Level two. Level two. Okay. So, plus one mission slot. Yes, please. Thank you, but not that mission. I'm not interested in that mission. Oh, I can unlock the mountain region? <gasps> yes, this is what we wanted all along. And tier three skills. This is great. All right, cool. Ah, uh, Woodford. All right, let's travel to Randos. Kill these guys, get some beer and some weapons, that's cool. Do you have a good apex predators on the road to Woodford? I like that I have a good reputation with the hunters guild. You know, it's always nice to be friendly with the local hunters. You know what I mean? Um, alright, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make my way over to Woodford. This is good, this is good. Soldiers. Normally, a patrol of soldiers would be a reassuring sight, but in these uncertain times, you're never quite sure who can be trusted. You try to read the expressions on their faces as they approach, but give nothing away. Um, sure, I'll act respectfully, and they are nice. Alright. We're just killing stuff. I mean, this is great. So many hides. I'm just carrying so many hides and these people are really full of hides already and of timber. Give me more of this pottery. Sure. That's great. Crabulous. We could have two crabuluses for the price of one. Bandits on the road to... Ooh, urgent message to Archon. Yes, sir. I'm going to Archon. And I will sell you these pots. Page! See, I like page. Why don't we have a page? You have a reputation of a hundred with these guys. Which is also great. Okay, and we can upgrade cap and concealment. Okay, okay, okay. Do we wanna, do we wanna upgrade to the... Now we have a covered wagon! Oh my god, we are so fancy! Also, I love that we have four horsepower, because we have four horses. That's amazing. 
That is amazing. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take these swords out, because I want to see if um, those guys are gonna buy my swords. So let's go to Arca. Oh, give me some missions, but not back to Woodford. Oh, that one is so much. Okay, wait. <laughs> Hold on. Five days. It's an urgent message, you guys. I've gotta get to I've gotta get to Archon as, as soon as possible. I've gotta get to Archon yesterday. Excellent. Mission complete. You guys. Why don't you ever sell any of the stuff that I want? Ooh, Alistar is also an upgraded archer. See, but here's the problem. It does take three deployment times. So I think I'm gonna keep the, like, two local hunter hunters, one, like, special archer, Liliana. It's fine. On the road to Randos. Alright, so you know what? I haven't gone to Mandrago in a while, so... Maybe we should just do that. We should just go to Mandrago. So we're gonna go to Randos and then we're gonna go to Mandrago. Okay. Hello. I desperately need to sell you some swords. You've got nothing else. You've got nothing on you. All right, well, we're headed back. Explore. Food keeps going missing from the caravan. Not much, but regularly. No one seems to know anything about it. The horses stamp their hooves in an effort to look innocent. Are you eating it in your sleep? That is a mood. Is some dark magic causing it to float away? The mystery is eventually solved when you find a hound with its nose stuck in a ration basket inside the caravan. It turns slowly towards you. It is fairly underweight, a little mangy, and looks prepared to flee. Okay. Um... I'm not really a dog person, but I will feed the dog and keep it. You offer calming words and the hound cautiously approaches you. It seems to sense that you are happy for it to stay. Having carefully placed the rations out of its reach, it curls up happily in the caravan. We have a dog now! Oh boy. No, it's over there! Look at the dog! Okay, that is cute. We now have a dog. I'm very pleased with that. Um, okay, so I want to go to Serenity. And let's just... Boop, 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 with the pots. Repair. Alright, let's travel to Woodford. Excellent, we just smacked them. Oh, you can take some of my swords and give me some of that pottery. <gasps> wine! Finally some wine. Yes! These guys will take expensive leather. This is the best town. Alright, give me your wine. Give me all your wine. Excellent. A mission. Excellent. Oh, chest of serenity, but for very little. Very little for that chest. I am sorry I'm not interested in that at that particular moment. But I will go over to Randolph's and I will fight these guys. Alright, let's see what these guys will give me for the wine. 140 eggs. I'll give you the pots, but I'm gonna keep an eye on the wine for now. <sighs> More horrors on the road to Winford. Sure, we'll take it and we'll come back and we will do it. Ooh, let's expand again. Fully upgraded! We are now basically have a cottage on wheels, and we we have a door on it. It is amazing. And we have essentially fully upgraded our entire thing. Fixed storage. We are fully upgraded. We are amazing. It's great. Excellent. It's upgrade. Oh, no. Cool! Another successful trip. Oh, do we have time to explore? What are our missions? We have time to explore. The Museum of Weaponry. I think we went to the museum before. Let's go to the tavern this time. Tavern unlocked. It turns out that the Bleeding Edge Tavern is frequented largely by weapon inventors and artisans. You overhear several debates about the relative merits of particular alloys. 
some fever talk about new designs for repeater crossbows, an immense technical challenge, and there is a spine-tingling tale from one-eyed man in the corner about underestimating the dangers of creating a sword that is constantly aflame. What's in the tavern? Ooh, you can get drinks! Bleeding Edge. In keeping with its innovative clientele, the Bleeding Edge now has some sort of automated drink dispensing system. Or at least, it did, until a spite of automated drink dispensing related injuries caused the whole system to be shelved for necessary and urgent improvements. There are still some holes in the far wall, where a tankard was propelled with enormous force by a high pressure steam of stream of ale. The bartender and owner, a rather distinguished looking lady, offers to make you a drink the old fashioned way. Why yes. In amongst all the raucous laughter, all the talk of the Archon City Wizard's apparently eternal struggles, the complaints about the state of the roads and the walls and the watchtowers, and amongst all of that, if you're listening carefully... Nope, that's literally it. You've learned nothing from this otherwise enjoyable soiree. A heated debate about which marrows are better was about as exciting as the conversation got. People in Peregrine have, a, have strong opinions about marrows. Oof. No, cheaper wine. Actually, cheap wine. Give me your cheap wine. I'll take your cheap wine. And I'll take your cheap swords. And I will give you an ale. Thank you for the ale, and I will now give it back to you. And do we have to go to Serenity for anything? Oh, look, there's a blade to Serenity thing. Alright, well, we're going to Serenity. Again, cheap wine, but expensive swords. <laughs> I t find itinerant husband. You know what? He doesn't want you. He's gone. Just let him go. Let's go via Archon. Chambers? Oh. Your meetings with the Queen's representatives are held. You quickly gather just outside of oh, the side entrance used by attendants and kitchen staff. Oh, cool. You're close enough to power here to vaguely sense it, but it's no more than a faint reverberation. <laughs> the lower ranking officials you deal with give you the impression that your existence is only a mild inconvenience to them as long as you keep your remarks brief and to the point. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> a new type of... Oh, look, the queen. <laughs> or one of the queens, because I think this place has two queens. <gasps> oh, and salt. I'm going to take all your salt. I'm going to give you wood. I give you wood. And I take your wine. Wine is super cheap now. Oh, there's a wine cheapening happening. Okay. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Do you have a mission? I think I'm full on missions, yeah? Alright, so I do have to go to Oxtown, but I have to go to Archon and Randos first. So let's go to there. Oh shit, we're gonna run out of money. Okay, we didn't run out of money. Did we? Were we able to pay everybody? Sure, everybody's happy. Urgent message to Woodford. You know what? I'll take it for the extra gold. Sure. Cloth. Cloth is expensive here. Salt is expensive here. Excellent. Excellent. I like it when things are expensive here. Right, let's travel to Woodford. Good. Good, good, good. We've completed so many missions. We're gonna sell you these leathers. We're gonna take this. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take this. Ooh! Cheap pottery in the house. <laughs> nope. I'm not gonna do that. Give me one medicine. And the rest is your cheap pottery. And also more medicine. Deserters on the road to Randos. You know what? Oh, we're gonna not get ourselves into trouble anymore. We're gonna sell you this pottery.
Alright, I think we're gonna call it here, so, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to do all the things that you do when you've enjoyed the video, and also, if you want to check out some of the stuff on screen, I would love it if you did. Other than that, thanks for watching, and goodbye!